Greenland is a place of contrasts, where huge icebergs meet jagged coastlines, and where the aurora borealis creates a captivating sight in the sky. However, aside from its breathtaking natural beauty, Greenland also harbors a trove of intriguing secrets and tales just waiting to be discovered. Come with us as we begin a journey to discover the lifestyle in Greenland, exploring its distinct culture, its strong inhabitants, and the intriguing details that set this frozen paradise apart from anywhere else in the world. Greenland, the larger of the two autonomous regions in the kingdom, is akin to a distinctive gem in the North Atlantic. Situated between the Arctic and Atlantic Oceans, Greenland is famously known as the biggest island on Earth. Nuuk, the capital city, serves as a vibrant hub within the rugged wilderness that defines its surroundings. Even though Greenland is physically linked to North America, its history and culture have been heavily influenced by Europe, particularly by Norway and Denmark, who governed the island for over a millennium. In the present day, Greenland merges its rich cultural heritage with modern governance, while Denmark holds power over specific areas such as nationality and international relations, Greenland has control over a variety of governmental functions. Even though Greenland is quite big, most of its population is concentrated along the southwest coast, with much of the island's interior remaining sparsely populated. The island's incredible natural beauty lies in its 75% land coverage by a continuous ice sheet, second only to Antarctica in size. Nonetheless, amid the icy landscape of the tundra, Greenland has completely embraced renewable energy, with the majority of its power, 67%, generated from sustainable sources, predominantly hydropower. Greenland's population is just over 56,000, which makes it one of the least densely populated regions globally, and it has a unique combination of beautiful nature, cultural heritage, and dedication to sustainability. Number one, ancient ice sheet. While most people are aware that Greenland is predominantly covered in a massive ice sheet, what is not widely recognized is that this ancient ice sheet serves as a frozen time capsule containing Earth's climate history. It is thought that some parts of the ice sheet are over 100,000 years old, offering a unique and invaluable glimpse into Earth's past climates. This ancient ice holds a treasure trove of information, reminiscent of chapters in a history book told through ice crystals. Scientists drill cores from these layers, similar to excavating the Earth's memory, to reveal intricate details of past climates. Each layer represents a different year, recording the condition of the atmosphere, levels of greenhouse gases, and leftover pollutants from previous years. By analyzing ice cores, scientists can effectively reconstruct past climates, providing important insights into the complex climate system of the Earth and tracing its development over many centuries. Moreover, the longevity and importance of the ice sheet are evident in predicting future climate change. It has remained resilient through various temperature fluctuations and sea level shifts, acting as a stabilizing force in the Earth's ecosystem. However, due to rising global temperatures and rapid ice melting, this historic ice is encountering a unique and unprecedented danger. Losing it would not only erase an important record of Earth's history, but also hinder our ability to predict and reduce future climate changes. Number two, world's longest fjord systems. Located in the stunning scenery of Greenland, the expansive and majestic Scoresby Sound is a notable natural wonder. This impressive network of fjords meanders through the rugged terrain, being one of the biggest on the planet, stretching an astonishing 350 kilometers, 220 miles. Scoresby Sound presents a stunning view at every turn, reminiscent of an expertly crafted painting. Towering cliffs, shaped over time, rise high over the frigid waters, displaying the strength of nature. Glaciers, created through millennia, move into the fjord and split into huge icebergs that serenely drift in the transparent waters. The spirit is not only captured by the scenery, the vibrant ecosystem in this untouched wilderness also plays a vital role. Seabirds soar and coast in the sky, their cries echoing off the cliffs, while seals rest peacefully on ice floes, appearing unconcerned by their environment. If you're lucky, you might catch a glimpse of the elusive polar bear blending in flawlessly with the snow-covered hills. Number three, largest national park in the world. Covering a staggering 972,000 square kilometers, 375,000 square miles, 
Northeast Greenland National Park is a vast, untouched wilderness, holding the prestigious title of being the biggest national park in the world. In its vast expanse, a variety of Arctic ecosystems flourish, with every area full of a remarkable diversity of plants and animals specifically suited to thrive in this challenging yet magnificent environment. Within this extensive sanctuary, there is a refuge for some of the most well-known Arctic creatures, Majestic polar bears, with their dense fur shining against the bright white ice, wander the frozen areas, representing resilience in challenging situations. In the harsh landscape, musk oxen are peacefully grazing, showcasing their strong bodies as evidence of their adaptation to the tough environment. At the same time, the hard-to-find arctic foxes move swiftly through the snowy tundra, their sharp senses finely attuned to the natural rhythms of life in this isolated wilderness. In addition to its natural beauty, Northeast Greenland National Park is an important sanctuary for scientific research and discovery. Number 4. No Dogs Allowed Strict regulations control dog ownership in areas north of the Arctic Circle or in East Greenland, allowing only one particular breed, the Greenlandic Sled Dog. These impressive dogs have a long history deeply connected to the essence of Arctic existence, lasting for thousands of years. Greenlandic sled dogs are highly respected for their constant endurance, unbeatable strength, and unmatched resilience, serving as essential partners to Arctic communities for transportation and hunting in harsh environments. Through generations of careful breeding, every aspect of these extraordinary animals has been perfected to ensure their success in the toughest of conditions. Their dense fur, which is meant to withstand freezing temperatures, shows how well they have adapted to the cold Arctic weather. Their strong muscles and flexible bodies allow them to navigate dangerous landscapes with unmatched speed, making them essential allies in the challenging duties of Arctic living. The rules governing the sole possession of Greenlandic sled dogs have a twofold aim to protect the authenticity and lineage of this historic breed, and to recognize the strong connection between these impressive animals and the Arctic societies they assist. Number 5. No Roads in Greenland In Greenland, the absence of roads connecting towns or settlements is not simply about convenience. It reflects the tough obstacles presented by the island's rough landscape. The scenery consists of deep fjords, towering glaciers, rugged mountains, and the expansive Greenland ice sheet. These natural characteristics serve as strong obstacles to any efforts to build roads. Imagine attempting to traverse a terrain featuring steep cliffs dropping into freezing waters, glaciers shaping valleys and moraines, and towering peaks seemingly touching the sky. It is a landscape that challenges traditional ideas of transportation systems. The qualities that make Greenland a stunningly beautiful place also make it unsuitable for typical roads. The challenging weather conditions and constantly changing ice create difficulties in managing maintenance tasks. Although roads may be built, they would probably require frequent maintenance because of the harsh weather conditions. In addition, the low population in Greenland does not make it worth the significant investment needed to construct and upkeep a vast road system. Due to their small size and spread out locations, the expense of connecting the settlements would greatly exceed any possible advantages. Number 6. The Land of Eternal Sunshine Each year, without exception, from May 25th to July 25th, a stunning event occurs in Greenland that captivates the mind, the midnight sun. In this time frame, the sun goes against usual patterns by not setting below the horizon. Instead, it remains hovering in the atmosphere, spreading its comforting light over the scenery every day and every night. This occurrence, called the midnight sun, is both breathtaking and strange, producing a surreal atmosphere that attracts visitors from all over the world to experience its beauty. The summer solstice, occurring on June 21st, is a significant celestial event in Greenland and is recognized as a national holiday. Being the longest day of the year, it is a time of celebration and merriment, where both residents and tourists enjoy the continuous daylight and soak up the sun's heat. From sunrise to sunset, the entire nation bursts with outdoor activities, cultural events, and communal gatherings. Number 7. Best Spot for Northern Lights Situated in southern Greenland, beneath the mystical glow of the Aurora Borealis Oval Zone, there is a captivating display of nature's beauty. 
This secluded area, along with its nearby island Iceland, serves as a unique sanctuary for those in search of the captivating display of the Aurora Borealis. Visitors are treated to a unique celestial show as the night sky is filled with vivid shades of green, purple, and blue. The immense, pristine wilderness of southern Greenland acts as the ideal setting, increasing the appeal of this extraordinary phenomenon. Due to its untouched natural beauty and lack of artificial light interference, this Arctic wonderland provides a deeply engaging and lasting impression on all who have the opportunity to witness its magnificence. Number 8. A Promotional Stunt If Greenland is covered in ice, why is it called Greenland? The story dates back to the 10th century, when the Viking explorer Eric the Red, who was exiled from Iceland, set sail for uncharted lands west of Iceland. Upon discovering a vast, icy landmass, Eric sought to entice others to join him in settling there. In a shrewd marketing move, he named the icy land Greenland to make it sound more appealing and hospitable. Despite the predominantly icy landscape, Eric the Red did find pockets of greenery along the coastlines, particularly in South Greenland, where he established his settlement. These areas experience a brief but vibrant summer, with lush vegetation flourishing amidst the icy backdrop. So, while Greenland may be predominantly covered in ice, its name and Eric the Red's strategic naming continue to intrigue and amuse to this day. Number 9. Purest Air and Water in World In Greenland, a large untouched wilderness offers exceptionally clean air, encouraging you to breathe deeply and feel refreshed. Due to its low population and limited industrial activity, the air remains free from pollution. While journeying through its vast terrains, taking deep breaths feels invigorating, as if each inhale refreshes your soul. In addition, the purity offered by the waterways that intersect Greenland's landscape is unmatched. Streams and rivers flow without obstruction, free from any pollutants or contaminants. The clear waters invite you to scoop them up and drink straight from them, without needing to filter them to appreciate their purity and crispness. In this pristine wilderness, taking a sip from a stream is like connecting with nature, highlighting the wild beauty and purity of the Arctic scenery. Number 10. Multilingual Nation Greenland's language environment is defined by the presence of both Greenlandic, mostly Kala Alisut, and Danish languages. This dual language situation dates back to the start of Home Rule in 1979, initiating their use in public matters. Currently, both languages play a crucial role in Greenlandic education, with English becoming a third language for the younger population. Greenlandic language's special quality is rooted in its diverse historical background, closely connected to the Inuit languages of Canada, particularly Inuktitut. This linguistic connection is apparent through shared words like kayak and igloo, which have smoothly made their way into other languages from Greenlandic. These linguistic borrowings highlight the cultural connections that are promoted by language, going beyond geographical borders. Number 11. Watch icebergs from a hot spring. Despite not being a volcanic island, Greenland boasts a unique feature in its landscape, thermal pools. Among these, the renowned Unartok hot springs in South Greenland stand out. Nestled in a remote setting, this natural marvel offers an unparalleled experience. Imagine immersing yourself in water heated to 38 degrees Celsius, enveloped by the serene beauty of the Arctic, with colossal icebergs gracefully drifting past. It's a surreal encounter with nature's grandeur that leaves an indelible impression on all who visit. Number 12. Christmas Dish During the Christmas holiday season, the Inuit communities showcase a special dish called kiviak on their dinner tables. This captivating dish showcases their long-standing customs and ingenuity. Kiviak is an intriguing culinary dish made by stuffing many auk birds, a type of arctic seabird, into the empty body of a freshly caught seal after careful preparation. The seal, which acts as both a container and preserver, is stitched closed meticulously to keep the contents sealed inside. The preparation does not stop here. After filling the seal with auk birds, it is covered with rocks and left buried for roughly three months. Throughout this period, a unique, strong delicacy is created through a natural fermentation process involving a mixture of birds and seal. Following an extended fermentation process, the kiviak is unearthed and ritually displayed for consumption. The dish that is created shows how the Inuit have a close connection with their surroundings and also demonstrates their cleverness in storing food in the difficult Arctic climate. 
It's more than just food. It's a cultural journey that brings together different generations with common customs and tastes. That's it for today. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.